What is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with another unboxing and comparison of a fake product and this time it's about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is according to my source the first one-to-one -one replica and by the term one-to-one -one, it means a perfect clone where cases fit, accessories fit and so on and so forth. Now getting a look here at the boxes, well this is at least the box for Verizon or the unlock model here in the USA and uh, they are quite different. This one doesn't have the Note 20 written on here. The S Pen is different even though the colors are the Mystic Bronze. This one doesn't show the S Pen as being the Mystic Bronze or the Gold color. So that's, uh, you know, again, looking at it here quickly, that's the first thing you can notice. Uh, it doesn't mean that at any time, maybe by now, this came out about three days ago. So maybe by now they do have the perfect box for it. So just be careful and keep in mind, guys, that this video is not to promote the fake. It is to educate you about these things being out there in the black market. So you need to be careful when you are purchasing a device, especially from websites like OfferUp, uh, Craigslist and all these uh, non-authorized uh, vendors you need to be very careful because you could be buying a fake so anyways getting a look here at the side of the box we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G written uh, this one is a little bit smaller as we can tell and the colors are different also this box seems to be a little bit shorter and skinnier as well so on the other side of this box, on the original one, we don't have anything. On this side of the fake one, we have the same thing that we saw from the opposite side. And on the back here, it's giving us, at least on the fake, as if it was the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note uh, 10. And uh, we can see that because it has the 6.8 inch display. Now we have a 6.9 inch display. And I believe the Ultra, the original one, has a 91 screen to body, a 91% screen to body ratio. And uh, that's why the body was basically uh, kept the same as the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, uh, the plus model. But now, uh, you know, they have made it to where there's less bezels and more display with the same body size, which is great. So there we have it, guys, at least for the physical comparison here of the boxes. Let's go ahead and take out here the fake one. So it comes with this little cover, very different to the original box. This one's more like a, a whole entire cover for you know just one piece. This one is the cover first, and then comes the little um, lid type of box. And then inside, well, at first, the phone came with this screen protector on the front side, and it says here, no 20 Ultra. And uh, we know the real one doesn't come with this and we do have a case now here i have the original one okay this is the unlocked version that i purchased at best buy and the cases do fit the original one as well as the uh, fake one so i know the size of the body is exactly the same so we're going to be seeing that here in just a second so there we have it for the case and here we have the phone now you guys will notice that i already removed all the screen protectors and when the display is off it looks like everything is one piece and that makes it very cool looking in every aspect. Just look at this thing, guys. Look at the bottom side here. We have the USB-C, the main microphone, one speaker. Even though the original has dual speaker, this is only one speaker. We have the S Pen right here, but this S Pen doesn't click. You have to kind of like stick your nail in there and then pull it out. It's a little bit different than the original. We're going to be comparing that here in just a second. But nevertheless, we have the S Pen on there. And on the left hand side here, it's absolutely plain. It is mimicking to have the antennas here on the frame itself. And uh, towards the top, right here, we can notice how it does have the SIM tray. And you can also fit a TF card on there with a nano SIM card. We have the, uh, supposed to be the secondary microphone, but I think that in reality with this device being a fake one, for less than $100, we're just gonna have on here a, uh, fake secondary microphone is not going to be existent so there we have it guys and look at the back side it came with a, a film protector covering the logo so this one has the samsung logo now something that i didn't notice where they made a mistake is that this one is more like a matte finish as we can tell and this one is more like a reflective glossy finish so that's where i would say they screwed up so this this clone is actually quite easy to uh you know differentiate uh, from the original one so it's really easy to spot it uh, look at the camera and on this uh, fake one we have just a 9 megapixel sensor camera the rest are fake uh, sensors on the original one we have two 12s 
One is a uh, telephoto, 12 megapixel, an ultra wide, 12 megapixel, and a 108 uh, wide angle main lens. So look at the flash and look at the laser focus sensors. Even though the cutout is correct, but on the fake one, it looks more uh, transparent, as we can tell. But anyways, I'm not gonna do yet the comparison, the full comparison yet. It's still in the unboxing portion of the video. So it came with some manuals and a little uh, SIM ejector tool right there. We get the uh, wall charger. And this is fake. This is not gonna be the fast wall charger. Okay, it's just gonna be a standard one. And then on this divider, we will have the USB C mimicking to be the real one of course and we have some earphones okay which connect to the USB C and that's all we get inside of the box so now we are done here with the unboxing portion of the video so let's go ahead and take a look here at the fake one physically I can tell already that it is a fingerprint magnet as you can tell maybe that's why Samsung on the real one decided to come with a matte finish and it makes perfect sense by the way we had the latest uh, Corning Gorilla Glass on the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 20 Ultra, the real one. This is just a cheap glass that if you drop it, even a slight drop, it will crack it on the back and it's really easy to come off. The adhesive is kind of poor on here. But just keep in mind guys that we're not comparing really the uh, build quality entirely because it's still this phone is kind of heavy. But it is mainly that, well, yes, they made it look almost identical here. Just take a look. I'm going to compare them here physically. Look at the height, they are perfect. The cameras are located exactly on the same position. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they have the same dimensions and whatnot. That's why cases do fit. And when it comes here to the bodies, what we can tell, this is the real one. Again, we're also gonna keep it on the left side. And this is the fake. Look at the antennas, they don't match. However, the frames are about the same in thickness. Towards the top here, we can see that the SIM trays are also located on the same spot. Now, the real one on the left, you can see we have a real uh, secondary microphone right here. This one is covered up. There's no secondary microphone on the fake one, as I mentioned before. And then here towards the right side, we have the buttons located exactly in the same position. Now, they had to do it this way, so that way cases do fit. So, you can see here the volume rocker is up and down with the power key. They're located exactly in the same position. And again, on the back side here, we can see the cameras the angles, everything is exactly the same. Even the Samsung logos are located on the same position with the exception that the fake one here uh, does have a different finish. We already talked about that. And then lastly here towards the bottom side, again, just take a look at this. On the top this time, we have the real one and towards the bottom, we have the fake one. But look how well everything aligns right there, guys. Just look at that. I mean, everything is super, super close. Uh, look at the USB uh, C ports. Look at the main microphones, the loudspeakers, even the S pens. They are very, very close. Now, something I was mentioning before here about the S pens is that the real one does click when you press it. And this is, again, the real one with the matte finish. You can see that it's very nice and smooth and it comes out very easily. Now here with the fake one, that's not gonna be the case. If I click it, right now I'm pushing on it, uh, you can tell that it doesn't do anything. I actually have to uh, insert my nail in there, which is kind of painful sometimes, and then you pull it out and that's how you can get it to work. And it doesn't have the on-screen right um, at least on the last screen when you remove it like the original one does and it only goes in one way If you try to put it the other way. It doesn't completely lock in. Let me show you what I'm talking about So I just flipped it. You can see that it doesn't go all the way in It can only be towards the fake button side here It has to be facing up and that's the only way that it goes in with the real Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that doesn't happen. So uh, let's go ahead and compare them physically. Now that we are doing a side-by-side -side physical comparison, uh, let's go ahead and take out the original one. And I forgot about that clicking mechanism there for a second. So we can see that dimensions, they're not too far off, but this one has a physical button and this one does not have a physical button. It's just being mimicked as if it had a physical button, but that's not the case. Uh, the tips are different. This one is a little harder and pointier. This one is more like a rubber piece and it is a little bit more rounder as you guys can tell. And towards the other side, 
we don't have anything here whatsoever uh, this one does have an internal battery I forgot how many milliamps it is but it does have a very tiny battery inside that gets charged every time you uh, put it in your phone and this one is just a piece of metal and nothing more than that so just keep that in mind guys the S pens is something that well I think is one of the main highlights here of the uh, Note 20 Ultra so this phone is not going to give you that great experience and right now I was trying to fit here the S Pen on the on the real one the fake S Pen on the real one and it doesn't fit at all so let's go ahead and put it back on here there you go and let's place this back on here so the cool part is that you don't have to worry about uh, what position it goes in so now what I'm going to do next uh, this is the real one and what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to turn it on and you guys will see here momentarily the logos and uh, this is running I believe on Android Marshmallow it is not the real Android 10 as we have here with the original Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 20 Ultra and this is running Samsung UI 2.5 this is an older version of the Samsung UI you're gonna see that here in just a second so at least they try guys we had to give them a lot of credits I mean they made this basically in weeks and you guys can't deny the fact that it does look quite similar and you can even see here the punch hole for the camera they did a good job and the display here is actually not that bad uh, so here again we have the main screen and I went ahead and I tried to test the on-screen fingerprint to see if it was real or not but unfortunately it is not real as you can tell the real Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra it'll prompt you to enter the pin or the pattern first after you restart the device this one is not asking you any of that so let's try and uh, increase here the brightness a little bit uh, so here we have the operating system again mimicking to be that UI um, software that Samsung adds into their devices uh, so again this is just like an older version of that and if I swipe up it'll take me here to the app drawer and I just have here things like the Play Store I already logged into it uh, I am connected right now to the Wi-Fi and that's working but before we jump into all of that good stuff let me show you here real quick uh, let me increase the brightness here on the real one so there we go I have it on dark mode I may have to change that here real quick so let's go into settings on the real one let's go into display and let's change it to light that way we can do a fair comparison so there we have it uh, let's increase the brightness just a little bit and now this is a fair comparison right here guys let's go into the main screen and I even tried to put in the uh, correct uh, wallpaper as you can tell this one is a little bit more washed out we have an AMOLED panel here and this is an LCD panel but now the real Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra which is on my left hand side you can see how the screen uh, of course goes to the very edges okay and it is curved this one doesn't fully go to the edges and it is not curved so maybe uh, they made the illusion a little bit with the glass that is curved but in reality it is not also towards the bottom here the bezels are a little bit thicker on the fake one as you can appreciate right there and towards the top you have the same scenario but they have been reduced quite dramatically so this one here is like a true 6.8 maybe 6.7 inch and the real one as we know already is a true uh, 6.9 inch display it comes with the Snapdragon 865 it has 12 gigs of RAM and it has uh, this particular model has 128 uh, gigs of internal storage and the other model has 512 the other variant of it uh, this one only has about I think it's uh, 8, 8 gigabytes of internal storage and 1 gigabyte of RAM with the MTK 65A0 and the Mali 400 so we still have very old specifications on here but you guys can't deny the fact that on the software side they made them look very very close I mean just just look at this guys it is so hard to tell you know even uh, with the displays I mean this one has better deeper colors as we can tell but they still look quite similar let's go ahead and open here uh, the cameras real quick and of course this is not a fair comparison guys but I mean this is so that you have an idea we have all three cameras working on this device and this is just one single camera 8 megapixels you can tell right there from a glance that the quality is definitely not the same okay let me shoot a picture here 
of the box with the real one. And then let me shoot a picture here of the Note 20 original box with the fake one. And you will see here in just a second exactly what I'm talking about. So just look at that quality, guys. Look at the details. I know it's kind of hard to see it here through the camera, but the cameras on the, or the single camera on the uh, fake one, is, it's not even comparable at all. So on the front, we know that the real one has a 10 megapixel uh, selfie camera right there, the little punch hole. Uh, this one is a five megapixel front facing camera. So at least it didn't go too far in terms of pixels. But once again, the quality is just day and night. Check out that quality and check out this quality. Okay, so that's where you guys are cutting corners when it comes to purchasing or trying to get a fake one. You're never going to get that same quality, guys. And you're not gonna get the warranty, you're not gonna get the support, you're not gonna get a lot of things with a fake device. But yes, they do exist, and yes, they are quite similar. So let's go here and get my little scale and this is currently in grams so here we go for the fake one and this is 233 grams i don't think you guys can see that but it is 233 grams the real one is 211 grams so check that out this one is a slightly heavier and i think it's because of the frame that they used and the real one has a 4500 uh, milliamp battery with reverse charging and wireless charging as well we are not going to get that here with the fake one. This is, if that, maybe a 2800 milliamp battery and it doesn't have reverse charging. So there you go, you're cutting another feature from the uh, fake one. So again, no reverse charging as of right now, but it doesn't mean that they won't work on it to make it happen in the future. Another thing here about the fake one when it comes to the uh, lock screen is the fact that it doesn't have face recognition. You know, the real one can do both, can do the fingerprint and also face recognition. You're not going to get that, unfortunately. Uh, now, looking at the S pens, let me take out here, first of all, the real one. I already show you that it clicks and you can tell that we have way more features on here. We have live messages, AR doodle, uh, screen write, create notes, so on and so forth we can do many things with this even activate the camera by just pressing the button here we can do that as well and shoot a picture but with the fake one that's not possible with the fake one you just get a very old ui when you open it you just get action memo smart select screen right and correct me if i'm wrong but these are the same features that we saw on the note 5 a couple of years back and uh, something interesting that I noticed here in the software is that it's mimicking to have a battery indicator for your S Pen, but we know that's gonna be absolutely fake. They manipulated the software into believing that. So uh, we got things like settings on here, okay, uh, which takes you directly into the normal settings. And then we can see, again, all the options we have. Let's go ahead and uh, tap here on screen right. And a snapshot of the screen itself. And then you can start writing but now this rubber piece is not really accurate i can do a better job here with my finger okay but at least it's there and it somewhat works so let's go ahead and cancel this there we have it for the s pen it is a dramatic difference in my opinion i don't know what you guys will say about that but uh, let's go ahead and compare here the toggles okay and of course they're going to try their best to make it look like a one-to-one -one. and i do apologize that uh it went a little bit let me see if I can fix that a little bit here there we go so we got things like you know airplane mode is similar but we have obviously more features on the uh, real one the NFC doesn't work on the fake one either that's just there to mimic uh, also the fake one doesn't support the 5 uh, gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and it doesn't have 5g it is just a 3g device let's go here into um, well, by the way, you can see how the applications and the UI, you can see here gallery, they're so similar. The phones app, everything is so similar. And by the way, I am getting a working Play Store here without any issues whatsoever. It is a little bit slow. As you can tell, it takes forever to open and it's not my Wi-Fi, okay? But it does work. So maybe into software, by the way, let's do the same thing here on the real one. Let's go into settings and uh, 
let's just go all the way to the top you can see there are similarities but they're not perfect whatsoever so i'm gonna set for now the original one aside here for a second so we got things like wallpaper we have connect where it takes you to the bluetooth and all that good stuff we have sound and vibration uh, display okay we got wallpaper and stuff like that always on display which actually works uh, let me give you here a quick uh, demonstration let's just leave it there for a few seconds there we go we have the always uh, on display which is cool let's go ahead and wake this up and like I told you before the uh, fingerprint is fake you can use any finger and um, let's see what else we have we have lock screen and security that's where I registered my finger so here we have all the info right here uh, let's see we have maintenance we have storage let's see how much it is claiming to have and this one is claiming to have 512 but in reality I already told you that it's about 8 gigabytes of internal um, so there we have it for maintenance let's go into apps here uh, again you can tell that this is definitely an older version of Android we have language and input and this is just gonna go on and on let's go here into software okay software updates we don't have any software updates let's go into about phone and this is where they mimic to make this phone like almost like a one-to-one -one. let's go here into uh, Android version and this is actually Android Nougat check that out it's even older than I anticipated wow that's crazy uh, so again you guys get the idea let's go here into IMEI information so here we have the phones information serial number and stuff like that they probably copy it from a from, from an original device uh, we know that already so yes guys this is just another fake phone and like I said it they did a great job trying to make it look exactly like the same one let's go ahead and go here into the uh, edge part of it let's slide this one out and here you guys can see the similarities okay of course with time it has uh, it has changed uh, let's click here you can of course set up different applications and whatnot let's go here into settings but you know you guys can see that there are differences this one kind of lags a lot you can see it right here the choppiness when you're moving it around this one is nice and smooth but keep in mind guys that in terms of software it is day and night and for them to be able to do this with such a poor processor is kind of impressive we have here the galaxy store i wouldn't trust this at all but you can see the similarities right there so agree allow allow and again they don't even compare guys it is just a day and night difference uh, this one also doesn't have the wireless charging capabilities you know the original one does um, other than that you know it does make phone calls you can use it with AT&T T-Mobile or any company that uh, uses a SIM card uh, GSM networks it doesn't work with Verizon and it doesn't work with Sprint the unlock model of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra the real one does work with Verizon as a matter of fact I have it activated with Verizon right now um, so yeah I mean just again guys you are getting what you pay for this is about $80 and this is about $1,400. You can tell the difference right there. And now I want to give you a quick demonstration on how the speaker sounds playing one of my own videos. So here we go. right now I think that we have successfully completed here the unboxing and the comparison portion of the video in terms of physical aspects and a little bit on the software let me know down below if you guys want more information if you want specifics I can try to accommodate that for you on my next video thank you so much for watching subscribe for more click on that bell and I will see you guys on my next one